Well, hello there. Good morning, in fact. And you find me on the pathway in Conagher Wood, which of course is very close to where I live. And these days, now the mornings are getting lighter and the sunrise is so glorious, you find me going out for an early morning walk where I just leave my house, walk up the lane, Abbots Wooden Lane, onto the hill and up into the woods. And I love this place. It is so beautiful, so peaceful. And I particularly love the trees in all their glory. But I've brought us up here today because we are in Holy Week. And there are many, many things to reflect on and to think about in Holy Week. Intense emotions, great sad, grief, joy, hope, betrayal. And I thought here would be a good place to just think about what happens in the run-up to the crucifixion. Because, as we know, on his last night, he had supper with his friends. He broke bread, gave wine, and asked them to remember him through that act. And then he went out to the garden, the Garden of Gethsemane, which, okay, we don't have a wooded hill covered in olive trees, but we certainly have some glorious wooded hills, this being one of them. So I thought here would be a good place to read from scripture some of the last things that happened before Jesus' crucifixion as an act of reflection and remembrance. So here we have reading from Luke, Luke 22. Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives. His disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, pray. Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew around a stone's throw away. And he knelt down and he prayed. Father, Father, if you are willing, please let this cup pass from me. I'm just moving my page because my Bible has flicked over, as to be expected in the wind. Here. But yet not your will, but yet not my will, but your will be done. An angel in heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed even more earnestly. And his sweat was like drops of blood falling on the ground. And he rose from prayer and went back to his disciples. He found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping, he asked them. Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. So Lord Jesus, as we join you in these last few days of Holy Week and reflect on your passion, the crucifixion and the glorious resurrection, we pray. 
We pray with you. We watch. And we pray. So I hope to see you over our Easter services. And for those who are brave enough, please do join me at the car park on Coney's Castle, not here, not Conagher Hill, Coney's Castle, the National Trust car park, at 10 to 6 on Easter Sunday, where we will make our way to where we are having our service and join in celebrating with the whole world the risen Lord Jesus. God bless. See you soon. Bye-bye.